Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly here with Talking Everything Agile, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Ishitab design so your designers can use it for their design tasks. Before I do, three things. Thing number one, if you guys want to learn Jira in about one day, from beginner to pre advanced, you learn about workflows, permissions, all those kind of things, please go to the description, find my course, and get it. It's definitely worth it. Second thing is, if you guys are stuck and you want some professionals to walk you through Jira or Agile or anything related to the Agile transformation and tools, please go to first comment to this video, click on the link and you can book yourself into my or my team's calendar. We'll walk you through everything you need. Third thing is, if you are an organization that needs help, Agile transformations, Scrum trainings, Kanban trainings, uh, Jira maintenance, migrations, anything, go to defineagile.com, go to the contact us, fill in the form, and let's chat. So now let's uh, talk about design tasks. So let's say you have a team, you have developers, you have designers, and you want to separate, uh, let's say, developers working on stories while designers are working on design tasks. And uh, here's how it will look like. You would click create, and then you would have a design task right here. So you'll have task, story, but also a design task. By default, you don't have that. I already created it, so let me show you how to create this task. One caveat, please do this. If you don't do this, you won't be able to do it. You need to be administrator in Jira, not a project administrator, but Jira administrator. If you are not, ask somebody to give you admin permissions, then you're able to do it. Because I'm getting a lot of comments, Anatoly, this doesn't work, it's uh, disabled, I don't know how to do it. Well, because you don't have permissions. Now, I'm assuming you're your administrator, we are ready to go. We click on the wheel. We click on issues. And here we have issue types. All you have to do is click add issue type. Let's say I'll show you the one I have. Actually, you can search design. I'm going to remove it. Here's how you remove issue type. Delete. OK. Add issue type. Design. Design tasks and description. You can have it as subtask or you can have it as a standard one. If subtask, it can only be part of the story, so it can be nested. Standard, no. So you click Add. When you edit it, you search for it first. And here you have default issue type scheme. So what you can do here, if you want to edit it, you can select an image. I like design tasks to be orange for some reason. So you click update. Now it is orange. Let's go to design again. It won't show up because it needs to be associated with issue type scheme. Because if it's not, then unfortunately it won't be found. So you go to issue type schemes. So here we are, issue type scheme. I need to search for my project, Define Angel YouTube videos. And then I click on edit. Here I have all my issue types and those are available right now. So I wanna click on design, drop design and click save. Once this is done, I go back to my project, Define Angel YouTube videos. I click create. And here's design task. Let's create one. Design task test. Create. I go to backlog. Here I do have a design task. So this is the way to create design task or any other custom issue types. But the most common one are, of course, design tasks because you have designers in your team and you want to separate them out. Hope it brought you value. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below and please like and subscribe because we're spreading it to more and more people and bringing value to others. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next one. Bye-bye.